Hello students, you are welcome to another session of the private class with the Millennium Teacher. A class that teaches the lessons of life based on facts. And I hope you are ready to learn. Okay, in our previous class we introduced life as a lesson and we learned some few facts about life. We also made mention of the four main types of education which we must acquire in order to succeed in life. And so today we are going to look into these four types of education, one after the other, to know more about them. And we will start with domestic education. Domestic education, this is the type of education that is related to the home or the family to which we belong or came from. In domestic education, the home is the school and the parents and or guardians are the teachers and the children are the students. Yes, so if you are a parent or guardian in this private class, I'd like you to know that the home where you live is a school and you are a teacher in that school. The children under your care are your students. It is your duty to teach them what it takes to establish a home, what it takes to maintain a home. It is your duty. The children do not know about life. It is your duty as a parent to teach them the way of life, to let them know what they should do and what they should not do. Our textbook says in Proverbs 22 verse 6, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Yes, like I was saying, you need to train your children the way of life so that they will not follow the wrong path, so that they will not follow the wrong way. If they are not taught the way of life, they will end up getting distracted and involve themselves in so many things that will cause trouble and a problem not only for themselves but also for you. Therefore, you need to train them in the way they should go, in the way of life. Show them the way of life. Give them the right instruction that they should follow in order to live life in a better way. Some parents in some homes, they do not allow their children to do anything. All they care about is for the children to go to school, to acquire uh, academic knowledge. Because they think education is all about academia. No! Your children, just as you force them to acquire academic knowledge, in like manner should you force them to acquire domestic knowledge because it is important for living. Domestic knowledge is important for living. It has a lot to do with life than anything else. You need to give it on to them. Give that knowledge. Impart the knowledge about the home, about the family into your children so that they will be able to establish their own families and be able to maintain them. What does it take for you to be a wife? What does it take for you to be a husband? You need to tell your children all these things you need to tell them what does it take to be a father, I mean a good one, to be a mother, a good mother? What does it take to be this kind of person? You need to teach your children. If you do not give them domestic knowledge, they will not be qualified to, uh, to, to act in this capacity. Some children live in homes where they do not know how the food is provided and how it is even prepared or cooked. Some children do not know how to do any house chore like laundry, uh, cooking, or uh, cleaning and taking care of the home. If you allow your children to go in that way, at the end of the day, they won't be able to do anything for themselves when nobody's around. In these times now that struggling for survival is the order of the day, you need to train your children how to be independent, how to be on their own when nobody's around. You need to, to give your children domestic education. There are some homes we are only a, a, a very small amount of money is provided for feeding. But out of that small amount of money, the mothers will go all out to prepare a suitable meal for the children, for the whole house. How is that possible? You need to tell your children how you as a mother go around. What mathematics do you play in order to be able to turn that small amount of money? into the meal, something that will be able to feed the whole house. Also, the fathers, you need to teach your children how to manage the little amount of money that you, that you acquire. 
The salary is that most men earn are very, very, very small, very small rates. Let's say someone's salary is about 900 to 1 million units, which is just about $100. Now, out of that amount, out of that $100, some men in their own wisdom, in their own skills, they will go all out to be able to or keep their family. How is that possible? Which magic do they play to be able to pay their fair bills and also provide for everyone at home to keep the house in order? How is that possible? How is that possible? You need to teach your children how to be able to do all these things. Because a time will come when they themselves will be on their own. How will they do it? When they will not be earning enough money, how would they do in order to continue surviving? And again, the children need to know how the, the husbands keep their wives at home and how the wives keep their husbands at home. When in times like this, wives are leaving their husbands for money and husbands are leaving their wives for other women, how is it possible for the father to keep the woman, the, 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 the mother at home till this point? For those whom that are still together, you need to teach your children. You need to teach them how to maintain the home, how to keep everybody in order. How can they bring up their own children by the time they'll be on their own? They need to be taught all these things in order to do it when it is their own time. You need to also discipline your children. The, the textbook also says in Proverbs 23 verse 13, do not withhold discipline from a child. If you beat him with a rod, he will not die. So parents uh, refuse to discipline their children, they refuse to correct their children, they refuse to tell their children what is wrong and what is good, what is uh, what is wrong and what is right. If you refuse to correct your children, if you refuse to let them know what is wrong and what is right, they will always land themselves in problems and these problems will be always traced back to you. You need to instruct your children how to live the right way. Ephesians 6, 2 to, uh, 2 to 3 says, Honor your father and mother, that it may be well with you, and that you may live long on the earth. And as a child, you should try by all means to acquire the training, the knowledge that your, your, your parents are trying to impact in you. So that at the end of the day, you'll be able to live on your own. You'll be able to do things by yourself when it is your own time. When you grow into maturehood, you'll be able to live life in a better way. Let's go to the next uh, type of education, religious education. It has to do with acquiring knowledge pertaining to a particular religion and its varying aspects like beliefs, doctrines, rituals, customs, rites and personal roles. Here, the religious house is the school, the ministers are the teachers and the members are the students in the religious education. Religious education teaches you that there is a God who created the whole world and everything in it, including you. Some people live life ignorantly. They don't believe in any God. You need to be taught that there is a God that is responsible for everything in life. There is someone who caused everything to come into being. It's only religious education that can teach you that kind of knowledge. You cannot just live like that. You need to acquire the religious knowledge in order to know about the God that created you in order to be able to serve Him in order to be able to love Him Religious education also lets you know that life exists not only here but also in the hereafter so it teaches you how to live life in a better way some people think that everything about life ends here No! It is religious education that will tell you that there is life after death if you do not acquire religious education, you won't be able to know how to live your life here and in the hereafter. Life will not be pleasant for you if you do not acquire religious education. What did the textbook say in Hosea 4 verse 6? My people are perishing for lack of knowledge. For you to succeed, for you to prosper in life, you need religious education. You need to acquire knowledge about the God who created the whole world, who caused everything to come into being. Religious knowledge is very important. There are so many problems in life that religious knowledge only can solve. It is very important for you and I to have this knowledge. If you do not have religious knowledge, when such problems arise in your life, you won't be able to deal with them. That is why you need to acquire religious knowledge. So quickly we go to the third one, academic education. 
is a type of education that teaches theoretical knowledge and broad-based research skills and ideas. You and I need to acquire this type of knowledge as well, which is very important. It is very important for every man to acquire academic knowledge. In Proverbs 16, 16, we are told, to get wisdom is better than gold. To get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. You need academic knowledge. You cannot just say, ah, because you have domestic knowledge or because you have uh, religious knowledge, you don't need to go to, or, uh, to academic school or academic, you don't need to acquire academic knowledge. No. You need academic knowledge as well in order to succeed in life. Proverbs 24, 3 to 4 says, By wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established. By knowledge the rooms are filled with precious and pleasant riches. Yes, wisdom, acquiring wisdom, knowledge and understanding is very important. Through academic knowledge, it's very important. Because you, you succeed in life by that. Academic education is very important for our success in life as well. And the fourth type of education is technical or vocational education. This involves training for a specific industry through a combination of teaching and practical experience. It teaches hands-on applied skills and techniques that are highly needed in everyday life. You see, technical education is also another very important education. It is not the case that every man will have to acquire formal education as that of academic. Technical education is another type of education that someone can acquire and be successful in life. It has to do with a lot of things. We need it in everyday life. When you train yourself technically, you make yourself marketable, you can even create a job for yourself. The textbook says, in Proverbs 22, 29. Do you see a man skillful in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. That is what the textbook says about somebody that acquires technical education. That man will, will stand before kings. He will stand before great men because of his technical ideas. So you need to acquire technical knowledge. Technical knowledge will also make you succeed in life. So these are the four main types of education. If we are to succeed in life, we must acquire at least three, if not all of them. So I advise you, if you are a parent, do not only force your children to go to academic school. It is not the only type of education. There are children who we are not made for that. There are people who say we are not made for that. So no matter how, how hard you try, they will not be able to acquire academic knowledge. That is why a lot of people are, are, are dropouts in life. That's why a lot of people are having so many problems. A lot of people are not able to make it through. Why? Because they are being forced to do what they are not meant for. If someone is not meant for academic education, no matter how hard you try, he or she will not excel in that area. But let's try it in top, some, some other thing else. Let the person acquire technical education. Let the person be what he or she wants to be. Become a, a, either a carpenter, become a hairdresser, become a mechanic. You know, these people are very important in life. If someone can still be a driver and succeed in life. Someone can still be a hairdresser and succeed in life. Someone can still be a businessman and succeed in life. These are technical areas. These are technical educations. We need it in our everyday life. As we concentrate on uh, edu academic education, we also need to concentrate on these other types of education. Technical, religious, or domestic. All these are to our qualification in life. For various ventures in life, for success in life, these help us. These types of education, they help us to succeed in life. So I know as at this point, a lot of people are still yet to understand what the private class is still about. Of course, we are still introducing it. You will understand with time. So please, follow up on the class and you will learn a lot about life as a lesson. So if this is your first time in a private class or you have not enrolled in any way, I encourage you to do so now. Register for the class by just clicking the subscribe button on your screen and you'll be registered. It is free to register for the private class. Uh, do your registration and also continue to comment on the class. Whatever you are observe, the things you, you do not understand, just try to put it up. Whatever question you have, drop it in the comment box. I will deal with them later. Also, share the class with other people. 
with, with your friend or with your brother or with your sister or with whomsoever that is close to you, try to let people know about the, 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 the lesson, the class, because it is very important. It teaches the lessons of life, like I said, based on fact. We all need it. So till we meet again, I have been your teacher, Salomon Joseph Yakura. I'll see you in the next class. Class dismissed.